For and more news, Yankuba Baji has been admitted to a hospital in the capital Banjul. Baji is diagnosed with pneumonia and hospitalized at the Edward Francis Small Hospital private block under heavy security guard. Publicite. He has been receiving treatment at the hospital since last week, according to a medical staffer, who has confirmed seeing him in the medical center. Baji and eight other ex-spy agents of the NI are accused of torturing an opposition activist to death last year for protesting against Jamez rule. His wife, Ndura Jawara caused one of the special prosecutors in his trial to resign after recording their conversation and leaking it online. Baji headed the most feared and murderous security agency under Jama, who ruled the country with an iron fist for 22 years. Jama had refused to investigate killings by security forces under his regime. He used an indemnity act to protect them, giving them the license to commit human rights abuses with impunity. Welcome to From Gambia Channel, welcome to From Gambia Channel, subscribe for more news. Subscribe for more news. Welcome to From Gambia Channel, welcome to From Gambia Channel, subscribe for more news. Subscribe for more news. Gambia's former spy chief Yankyo Babaji hospitalized. The troubled former intelligence chief of the Jama regime, Yankyo Babaji has been admitted to a hospital in the capital Banjul. Baji is diagnosed with pneumonia and hospitalized at the Edward Francis Small Hospital private block under heavy security guard. Publicite. He has been receiving treatment at the hospital since last week, according to a medical staffer, who has confirmed seeing him in the medical center. Baji and eight other ex-spy agents of the NI are accused of torturing an opposition activist to death last year for protesting against Jamez rule. His wife, Ndura Jawara caused one of the special prosecutors in his trial to resign after recording their conversation and leaking it online. Baji headed the most feared and murderous security agency under Jama, who ruled the country with an iron fist for 22 years. Jama had refused to investigate killings by security forces under his regime. He used an indemnity act to protect them giving them the license to commit human rights abuses with impunity.